It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for our beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I have always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello, television neighbors. I'm I'm glad that we're television neighbor and television friends to, together again t today. S see why I brought you. This is the happy bur bur birthday s s sign. This is uh, Megan Elizabeth White's uh, high school gradu graduation uh, post card. And this is a birthday card. Now, in j j just a few minutes, tell television neighbors, I'm going to be taking you to see a orange juice factory, and that's a place where uh, people make real life orange uh, juice that is really, really good. But, be but before th that, we have just enough time for some make-believe make before we go visit our neighborhood Orange Juice Factory. So, tr Trolley, Hi, Trolley. Last time in the neighborhood of Make Believe, we were uh, pretending that Queen, Queen Sarah had asked Chuckles the Clown for s some brightly colored orange oranges to make orange juice products. Let's, let's pretend that Chuckles is on his way over to the castle as we speak so, so that he can make all sorts of different products right now. And XDL is going to ask him for his arrival on his on his uh, uh, homework assignment of his OCS about different sort of oranges for um uh his um orange juice products so let's make believe some more about that now as the trolley goes in front of the castle in the neighborhood of make believe Ready to go, trolley? Okay, neighborhood of make believe. Ah, uh, I'm I'm X D 
the owl and I hear chuckles the clown that y you you need my help in making oranges for my OCS assignment of uh, making different kind of products for, for my orange juice orange juice products. That is so correct. I'm a little bit scared, X. These orange juice and dairy products, they have me all confused and worried. Why, you don't need to be so com confused, Mr. Cl Clown. You, sh you should be nifty galifty. Oh, well, that's reassuring. Um, in fact, Queen Sarah would like to talk to you a, a little bit about these new products. Okay, I'll, I'll buck up. I'll be, what? Lifty nifty? What? Nifty go lifty? Actually, it's nifty go lifty. Nifty go lifty. Okay. Why, hello, dear. Hello, Queen Sarah. Oh, your beauty is just radiating from your face today. You just look marvelous. I... I hear that X, X the owl told y you that uh, I was going to be s s selling oranges to 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 today, so so that I, I could tell my husband King Friday that I was going to sell my oranges to make orange juice for my different types of products today. That's what X told me. It, it's just amazing to me and a little bit scary, Queen Sarah. Well, I hope you can allay my fears and, and, and have me not be so afraid. Well, you don't have to be afraid, dear. I don't. Of course not. Okay, then I won't be afraid. I'll be brave. I'll be nifty galifty. Well, goodbye, Charlie. Oh, I wonder how they're going to sell those different products for the orange juice products for owls for XDL's OCS assignment. Well, we'll pretend more of that all the next time you and I are together again. But now, I think it's time to see a real orange juice factory. And I have a, a friend of mine who runs a real orange juice factory. His name is Alan, 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 uh, Alan S Sykes, uh, D D Dexter, and he, he's going to be, he's going to show you how we, how he makes a real orange juice at his factory. So come along with me and we can go visit Alan Sykes. D Dexter at his orange juice factory. Come along. You must be Alan 
Sykes uh, Dexter. That is exactly who I am, and who do I have the pleasure of shaking hands with? You have the pleasure of shaking hands with, uh, Victor Sprinkle. No. The Victor Sprinkle from mm -hmm. VSN? Yes. Oh, wow, I've always wanted to meet you. You're one of my heroes. I love your show. I love what it teaches young children about life and some of the things that happen along the way in the journey of life and how to deal with them. Good for you, Victor George Sprinkle. I'm a big fan. So, um, you, you, I, I like... First, I would like you to meet my uh, television neighbor. Hi, television uh, neighbor. Th this is Mr. Alan Sykes Dexter. Yeah, how do you like that handle? Pretty cool name, isn't it? Now, Alan. Yes, Victor. You, you started working on your uh, making orange juice when you were about uh, 10 years old. That's correct. I don't know how you know these things, but yes, that's absolutely correct. In fact, it was for my 10th birthday that mom and dad got me a juicer because I love fresh squeezed orange juice. And they got me a juicer and I, was so impressed with how it worked that I set up, you ready for this? Yeah. An orange juice stand instead of a lemonade stand on my 10th birthday, honest to goodness. Mm, now, what got you so interested in making uh, orange uh, juice? Well, I have my mother to thank for that because she had a little handheld juicer that would squeeze the oranges and into a glass and she made me fresh orange juice, not every day, but about once a week. And, you know, once you taste freshly squeezed orange juice, you never want to go back to that stuff in a can and so I decided at a very young age that that's what I wanted to do when I grew up was to bring fresh orange juice to lots of people. Um, and, and so you, uh, you, you had a whole lot of pat patience mm -hmm. and, uh, you decided that this would be the right uh, time for you to make very healthy squeeze orange juice for young uh, ch uh, children for all ages and you were very re relieved about all of that? I certainly was because as I got better and better at making my fresh orange juice, I learned how to make more and more and more of it without losing all of that wonderful flavor. And I was therefore able to share my orange juice with almost the entire world. Well, would you please show me and my television neighbor your juicer? I'll be happy to do that. Come on, I'll take you over to the factory. It happens to be right next to the neighborhood of make-believe. What do you think of that, television neighbor? Let's go! Well, here we are at my juice factory. As you can see, it's right behind the neighborhood of make-believe and the castle and the mountain. And that, my friend, is my juicer. 
It may look small to you, but actually, you know, it's 33 feet high and 22 feet across. And it can take 500,000 oranges at one time and process it through the juicer and then out comes Guess how many gallons of freshly squeezed orange juice? How many? 154,000 gallons. Wow. And then I just repeat that process day in and day out, and I make freshly squeezed orange juice for the whole world. That's wonderful. Well, thank you. I like to think it's wonderful, too. You are remarkable, Alan. Well, thank you, Victor. It was a pleasure meeting you. And I think now it's time for you to go back and finish your show. All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, Alan. Pleasure was all mine, Victor. You, you, you know, be, being, being optimistic is trying to find words that, dis, that describe your, yourself to be very generous. To your own self, and you, when you feel optimistic about your own kind of words, and and they love you just the way you are, you can feel optimistic too. It's such a good feeling to know. You're alive, it's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside, and when you wake up, ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know. that I'll be back when when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about I will too until tomorrow neighbors Bye.